To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Two very big words. The action I am taking will open up access to up to $50 billion of very importantly, very important and a large amount of money for states and territories and localities in our shared fight against this disease. In furtherance of the order, I'm urging every state to set up emergency operation centers effective immediately. You're going to be hearing from some of the uh, largest companies and greatest retailers and uh, medical companies in the world. They're standing right behind me and inside of me. We'll remove or eliminate every obstacle necessary to deliver our people the care that they need and that they're entitled to. No resource will be spared, nothing whatsoever. Using federal emergency authorities, the FDA approved a new test for the virus. We did this within hours after receiving the application from Roche, a process that would normally take weeks. We therefore expect up to a half a million additional tests will be available uh, early next week. We'll be announcing locations probably on Sunday night. I want to thank Roche, great company, for their incredible work. I'd also like to thank Thermo Fisher. The FDA's goal is to hopefully authorize the air application within 24 hours. It'll go very quickly. It's going very quickly, which will bring additionally 1.4 million tests on board next week and 5 million within a month. I doubt we'll need anywhere near that. At the same time, we've been in discussions with pharmacies and retailers to make drive-through tests available in the critical locations identified by public health professionals. The goal is for individuals to be able to drive up and be swabbed without having to leave your car. I want to thank Google. Google is helping to develop a website. It's going to be very quickly done, unlike websites of the past, to determine whether a test is warranted and to facilitate testing at a nearby convenient location.